If I'm crushing to you, then you should know that you're already dead and you're not in the part of this world. Mais sasa nilisema kwamba pia watu kama hao njoo njoo kwa maana Yesu alikuja Mungu alituma mwana wake wa pekee Yesu akufe juu yao. And that why Jesus God so loved the world so much and loved he gave his only beloved son that whoever believes in him shall not but will live for eternity and that's why the love of God he gave his only son that for you to be you have to believe in Christ. Na njoo kwa maana Biblia inatuambia kwamba hakuna mtakatifu hapa chini ya jua. Sisi wote tunakosea kwa njia moja au njia nyingine. Huyu ana dhambi hii, huyu ana dhambi hii, huyu ana upungufu huu, huyu ana upungufu huu. Lakini ile upendo wa Kristo ndio inatuunganisha kwa msalaba wake. Ndio kwa maana anasema ile wakati tunamupenda kwa kumrudishia ile upendo ambao alitupatia, tunamupenda pia. Anasema ya kwamba anakuja ndani yetu ile upendo si tunampenda nayo kwanza ni toba ya dhambi zetu wakati tunatubu dhambi zetu mbele yake yeye anatukaribia tena anatupatia uzima mpya maana ile uzima mpya ni yeye njoo anaitoa Yes. Sasa kuna 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 jambo fulani ambazo zinatusaidia sisi kwa kuweza kwa kuweza kujua kama tuko wazima au tumekufa na kitu gani ambacho kinasababisha ile uzima au kifo kitu. Namba ya nyanda, namba ya kwanza tunasema Kristo ndiye anasababisha uhai wetu. Na namba ya pili Uz, u, kifo kyetu ni shetani ndio anakisababisha. Sasa twende kuona nia ya Mungu kwa uzima wetu ni gani na nia ya shetani kwa uzima wetu ni gani? Kama shetani anasababisha kifo, anakuwa anania nini? Anania gani sababu ya maisha yetu? Sababu pia yeye anania juu ya maisha ya mwanadamu. Sasa Mungu naye tutakia kuona anania gani shabaha ya Mungu ya kumpenda mwanadamu ilikuwa ni gani? Hapa ndipo tutaishia mafundisho yetu. Yeah, we are going to look at the reasons why uh, death matters to the to, from the devil side and why our life also matters to God. Mm. Tuanzalia kwanza shetani. Kwa nini analeta kifo kwetu? Juu ya nini? Juu ya nini shetani analeta kifo kwa mwanadamu? Yeah, we are going to look at how why the devil brings death to a human being. Biblia inatuambia mu Yohana sura kumi mstari wa kumi kwanza kwamba kazi ya shetani ni kuua, ni kuvunja, ni kuharibu. Yohana sura kumi mstari wa kumi. You said Yohana who? John 10:10. 10, 10. John 10:10 10, 10, says the devil comes to kill and, and destroy. Mm. And steal and destroy. Yes. Yes. Unasoma na 1 Peter 5:8. 1 Peter anasema Yeye anataka kudevoa. Shetani anakuja ndani ya maisha ya mwanadamu kuleta mauti ya kifo, mauti ya kiroho, mauti ya mwili. Atake zote unapata shetani ana plani juu ya maisha yako. Njoo kwa maana unasikia tu tunaomba tunaomba against ile maattack. Shetani ana plani mbaya sana juu ya maisha ya mwanadamu. Yes, first Peter 5:8 it says. Mm. First Peter 5:8 Yeah, it says be sober, mm. be vigilant, mm. because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaming lion, mm. seeking to devour. Yes, anatafuta mtu waku wakumeza, sindiyo? Njoo shetani yule. Asa. The devil is looking for somebody to devour, to destroy. Unasikia kwenye kwenye ni diwatosha ndani ya shamba la edene, shetani njoo alileta mauti. Na mauti iliingia ndani ya mwanadamu wakati alikula tunda ambalo alikatazwa na Mungu. From where I brought you from the beginning in the garden of Eden it was the devil that he brought death because it caused the woman or a human being to eat the fruit and by eating the fruit so death entered the world as well. Amen amen eh? Sasa amen. kifo kimeletwa na shetani. Na wewe ambaye uko Labda haiko ile tunda ya Adamu njoo wewe ulikula au ulikulishwa. Huenda wewe umekulishwa uchawi wa familia yako. 
Labda wewe umekulishwa chakula cha wachawi. Labda wewe umepelekwa nani ombili kokode yako katika maocultism. Na hii na hii na hii kitovu kiako kilivyopelekwa kule unafungwa na wachawi. Shetani anakalia maisha yako ili wewe usitokake mahali. Maana ana plan ye kufanya vile ana plan juu ya maisha yako akupoteze. Ndio shetani yule. Ya anasema anatafuta mtu ambaye atamkanja kanja, akufanye matepe, akisho kwamba na kumeza hawezi kujitoa kwa madhi, hawezi kufanyikiwa mu maisha, hawezi kufika mahali. Watoto wako wanaangaika, wewe wewe unafikifo na omba omba, unalomba lomba, wewe kalomba, unapewa majina ambazo hata hazikukua zako. Njo plan ya shetani ile maisha yako. Sema haitakuwa yangu. Sega, God will not be my portion because the plan of the devil is to is roaming is like a lion roaming around whom to defile. Mm. Its, its purpose is to destroy you. Maybe you are not like you never ate the fruit as it was in the garden of Eden. It is it's you. They may have sacrificed you to an altar of the enemy. Mm. They have taken your placenta. They may have taken your name. They may have. Uh, put you somewhere on an evil altar where you are being sacrificed and make you that you don't progress, you don't, you are stagnant, you are, you are, you are backward, mm. you are only a person who doesn't have uh, a heart of forgiving, you are somebody who is so uh, aggressive, mm. you are somebody who doesn't look ahead but you are just there, you think you know but you don't know. Mm. So that's the plan of the devil to require you. By so you may have your own food may have been through people, the arrows that the animals fight into your life. Kuna mambo masita ambao tutenda mbio mbio ambayo inakuonesha plan ya shetani ndani ya maisha yako. Mambo masita. Mbio mbio. Then we are going to look through to know that the devil is against your life. Mm. Jambo la kwanza, shetani anakuja ili ahakikishe kwamba wewe uko na mashaka. Anakujaza mashaka. Yaani unakuwa mtu wa kushakia. The first thing is the devil wants you to doubt, to have doubt. Amen. Yes. Ukisoma mu Yohana sura yake 20 mstari wa 27. Biblia nasema ya kwamba wakati ukisoma ukisoma pale Yohana sura yake ya 12 mbili ya 20 mstari wa 27. Biblia nasema wakati mitume walisikia kwamba Yesu alifufuka they shout wakalalamika amefufuka he has risen but mtu mmoja akakuwa na mashaka aliitwa Thomas haleluya hakuamini alafu ilikuwa ni muujiza ambayo Mungu mwenyewe aliahidi kwamba itafanyika siku ya tatu Yesu alisema atafufuka metoma hakuamini mitume wenzake mpaka wanaonesha kwamba imekuwa lakini toma ni toma tu anasema a a anajaa mashaka mpaka nijione yes uh, one of the examples you can see of doubt was thomas when the other disciples heard that jesus has risen Thomas continued to doubt. There was so much doubting, as it says in John 20, 27. It says that, then he said, the, then he said to Thomas, put you off. No, that is another. But in, in the same verse, it says, uh, Thomas doubted. I uh, was doubting to believe that Jesus is what is dead. And that's when Jesus told him, okay, put your finger here and see my hands and put on your hands and put it in place it inside ah uh, wende na nitafsiri tu pastor sababu yeah. nasema ingine yenye nina explique maandiko yenye nili, niliandika pale sababu tumeisoma na no, okay <laughs> eh kwa hiyo ninasema ya kwamba kitu kia kwanza ambacho shetani analeta ndani ya mtu kwa kuweza kuharibu maisha yako iko iko mashaka Yeah, one of the things that the devil uh, uses or attacks your life is doubt. Na mashaka namna gani? We mnaweza kuwa mnakaa watu wawili ndani ya nyumba pamoja au kwenye kazi yako au mahali ambapo na ulipotokea, yani hamwaminiane, yawezekana ndani ya huduma pia, ndani ya huduma, tufatane past. Yawezekana ndani ya huduma. Juu wakati unaniangalia unapata mbio kenyeni na niko nazungumza na hautakuwa distress. Yaani 
wakati inawezekana ndani ya huduma mnapaa watu wawili wenda muko wachungaji au muko watumishi au muko ndani ya chumba cha maombi mnajaa mashaka mnaomba lakini mnashakiana yes it could be um, uh, you are together man or wife you 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 you, you don't have an understand you doubt one another or you can be in the ministry where both of you as servants of god you have doubt in one another whatever one is doing you don't doubt you doubt it you don't believe in what is doing or you don't believe what the other one is telling you so that's one of the reason doubt is one of the things that the enemy uses sababu so, shetani hapendi mkuu ndani ya agreement ya maombi ili anajua kama wawili ambao weko pamoja kwa kuomba kwa jambo lolote katika umoja Mungu anafungula milango Shetani analeta mashaka ili mushakiane sababu msivunje upango wake wa yeri kwa ambaye amewajengea kutoka kuvuka ili mubakie pale mnajiuliza sasa nani ndio amefanya ubaye nani ndio amubaye pale mfusonge mbele na muenze na mulete mahitaji yenu mbele ya Mungu mwambie Mungu ni wewe unayeweza yote utusaidie fungule hii milango pale mubomoe kuta za yeriko mnaanza ndio kujiuliza huyu alifanya nini huyu alifanya nini eske hii yenyewe anasema itafanyika unakuwa toma yes uh, the thing that the devil uses is that it attacks uh, believers or servants of god or people together that you not have an agreement in what you are praying because the devil's plan is that god knows that whatever two people are gathered in my name whatever they will ask shall be done and it knows this strategy so it uses that what one says or one proposes or one thinks the enemy comes in and put a division that instead of praying together and break the wall of Jericho mm. and and do something that will take the devil will come into the midst and then divides you or puts doubt mm. into you don't understand what god is trying to do ndio mtakutanaka mnatumikaka mnapataka pesa lakini pastor jamaa mjuake zile pesa inapitana mna gani mwenzako mwenzako mwenye anakuwa na kazi position ya kidogo zaidi ya yako anapata pesa ndogo zaidi ya yako ameendelea kamefanya ma project wengine wanaanza kuenda kumamitishamba kuwachawi kutafuta kuloga wengine ya kusema ya kwamba yeye labda naye alifanyaka uchawi ndio maana anaendelea hapana wakati wewe na mke wako mpatane mnakuwa na mashaka hamuwezi kubomola hamuwezi kubomola yani kuta za yeri kwa ambao shetani amepanga ndani ya maisha yenu hamuwezi ile mashaka ndio inatuma watu hata kuwa ni waombaji lakini wanalia Watu hata kuwa ni waombaji hawabarikiwe. Watu hata kuwa ni wakristo lakini hawaendelee. Wanabakia wana stagnate. Haleluya. Na hii ingine haiko ya shetani njoo anaileta. Ni wewe ulisahau kujua ya kwamba uko na mamlaka ya kuvunja nguvu zake. Yeye Bwana amekupa nguvu na hii nguvu za umoja ndani ya maombi wakati mashaka mnaiondoa katikati yenu. Bwana anaingia na kuvunja milango yote ya Eriko na kuvunja kuta zote za Eriko na hata adui wa maisha yako yote akishimama. Bwana mwenyewe anakuwa na epusha. Yaani ndio ile anasema maji yaliogopa sanduku la agano ambao ni maji ya nini maji ya maji ya Jordan mpaka Israeli wakavuka maji akaogopa sanduku la agano utukufu wa Mungu wakati mnaenda mbele ya Mungu wawili mnapatana bila mashaka Mungu anawafikisha kila chochote ambacho mnakiona you see in some people they, they, they see people, some other people you earn a lot of money but you have nothing but somebody wants very little and they are progressing is simply because these people are united and there is no doubt into them but if you have doubt among yourself mm. you know, a husband you don't believe in your husband what is doing or mm. your wife is doing uh, the idea they give you don't understand it if all this will not make you to move ahead because you remain in doubt and God will not be able to assist such people and therefore it's important to have it to have in one accord and remove the obstacles of doubt in between you because uh, for for doubt with doubt you cannot even proceed or be able to be prosperous but when you are united and have an understanding then you can be able to move and that's why you see that the children of Israel they have to cross Jordan because of the word they had to feel even the covenant of God mm. when it, Jordan had separated because it had 
Mm. Sasa jiwaze pasa, tusemi hapa kama otumisha na wajakasi ambao tuko hapa katika maombi. Weye unadapti muke wako akitoka munyumba, anenda mukazi, unakuwa nafikiri, anafata wanaume wengine. O, unakuwa na simu yake ukiona naiguza tu wanaume tu wengine njowe kondani. Simu ya wanawake wanawake wengine njowe kondani. Sijo, ii mashaka. Jiwaze, wakati munaikala mkua munazungumuza, hauna muda ya kuangalia maendeleo. Muna muda njowe kuongea juu ya shida. Muna bakilia njua ushida, pali muongee juu ya maendeleo yenu. Unaona, mashaka inaharibu jamaa, mashaka inaharibu imani, mashaka inaharibu kanisa, mashaka inaharibu utumishi. Bwana atusaidie sana. Doubt spoils relationship, doubt spoils marriage, doubt spoils uh, the word of the, 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 the unity of the church. And uh, because of doubt, Everything, for example, a man or a woman, you see your husband is taking the phone. You think, okay, he's taking to another somebody that is always trying to communicate with his people at home, even to speak to them. Or when, think, okay. or when she goes at work, you remain, you remain saying, oh, maybe she went to, she went to other men. He went to, yeah. other, to other women. You, you began concentrating in the women around rather than praying for her when, he, when she comes back and then you make a plan, a deal for your life and you pray for it. Instead of praying for it and planning your life together, then you begin solving challenges which are not there. This is the plan of the devil. Hallelujah. Say, it shall not be my portion. He say, it shall not be my portion. Jambo ya pili. Shetani akisha kuja ndani ya maisha yako anakuja ili akuweke fear, woga. Akujaze woga. Yes, the second thing that the devil uses or weapon is to put fear in you. Mm. Anakuja ili akuweke uoga. Munakuwa muna watu wako... Muna, yes, muna kuwa watu wako ogopana. You, it creates you people full of fear. To fear one another. Mutu, kuo, mutu kuogopa... Mutu kuwa na wogo na kuwa umutu umuoga moga. Haijamanisha kwa mbaona imani. Imani na woga ni vitu vili tofauti. And uh, fear does not mean that you don't have faith. Faith and fear, they are two things, different things. Wakati unaogopa mfano, coronavirus inakuja hii wakati. Unajisikia unaogopa corona, unaogopa, unabakia pale. Mungu anasema, wakati tuna, tunatoka kutoka zambi zetu, tunatugu, tunamuendea yeye. Tunamuamini yeye. Tunatafuta uso wake, tunamuomba, anasema, anatuponya, anatukinga. Eti magonjwa hayata tupata. Hapo ni 2 Chronicles chapter 7 verse, verse 13 to 14. Sasa uona jama, ukisha jaa uoga, fear, ukisha jaa uoga, unakuwa mtu mwoga, sefini, imani yako inaharibu. Haiku asema imani inatoka, lakini shetani anaweka imani ndani ya ile uoga wako. Unakuwa njo, corona njo, unaogopa, unabudu njo ile corona. Haiku eti imani haiko, lakini shetani anakorompre imani yako anaiweka ndani ya corona ndani ya mauti yani unabakia mauti so for example like in this corona time uh, we know that uh, the lord we will believe in the faith that we are healed and we are protected and the devil will come and you live in fear every time you are in fear 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 mm. uh, we fear no you have the faith but you are in fear so the devil puts in that fear in you and then you always keep on fear, no, there's coronavirus, 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 but you have the faith, but because of fear that the enemy has used, mm. when he put it to you, then it makes sure that you don't believe in what they're supposed to believe in. Muna wakia ndani ya, ndani ya woga, ndani ya woga, muna ugopa, una ugopa magonjo, ukiona mwenzako, wamwezi enda kanisani, ya mde toka korona ilianza, toka walikuambia kwamba ule mtu ni mchawi, yani mm, we ulishaka, ukiona ule mtu napiti yaka mbali sana, ili ni mchawi tu. Ule mchawi plisi unamu, unamuhepa, plisi korona una, unayogopa, mchawi kumogopa kwanza njua na kumalizia. <laughs> Lakini ukijua kwamba unauhai wa mungu, ile uhai mupia, muhai wa mungu kona, ule korona hota muogopa. Maana, bibile unasema hata ukikufa, utaishi katika kristo, maana kristo njua ule uhai mupia, hallelujah, yesu kwa mungu. Mm. When you have a new life in Christ, you do not fear this coronavirus because already you know that you are alive in Christ. And whatever will happen around, you should not have that fear of saying, oh, coronavirus, this will affect me. No, he says that this is why we are talking about new life. Mm. 
Yes, 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 yes. Bon, parce que tu sommeilles, tu sommeilles psalms. Tu sommeilles le psalms, ça te faut, faut faire. Ça te faut, faut faire. Four five. So me to so me zaburi salat makumi tatu na 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 ine zaburi makumi tatu na ine ine ya kempa katano zaburi makumi tatu na ine ine ya kempa katano bibile na sema iko apa iko apa ku screen bibile na sema ivi ku ine ya ke inasema wapate haya na wa wa sate fo sate fo zia eti nilitafuta bwana naye alinijibu na kuniponyesha kutoka woga wangu wote daudi huyu anazungumza anasema kitu ambacho kinatosha uoga ndani ya mwanadamu iko kutafuta uso wa mungu na kutafuta uso wa mungu namna gani unakuwa na ule yesu ndani yako maana ile 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 huu Yesu ndo analeta opposite ya fear ambayo ni security security ya maisha unapata insurance ya maisha hii insurance unaitoks unaipata wakati unaona pendo la Yesu usione mwanadamu na kuogopa mwanadamu usiogope ugonjwa usiogope hali sababu ya woga ndio inatuma watu wengi wanasharatika watu wengi wanaingizwa ndani ya dhambi watu wengi wanapelekwa kuzimu wanaogopa maisha watafanya nini vile nasema tafuteni kwanza ufalme wa mbingu Mungu anajua kama ile mnahitaji unapotafuta kwanza ufalme wa mbingu hautaenda ndani ya wachao kwenda kutafuta pesa hautaenda ndani ya walozi kwenda kuuliza juu ya maisha yako maana unajua Mungu anaweza watu wengi wamepoteza ndoa zao sababu ya kwenda mwachao juu ya kwenda mwa wanawaambia watawapatia wanaume at the end of the day wanajikutana wao maisha yao njoo inaenda kukufa zaidi kukufa na ule mwanao atampatia atampatia atampataka pesa ule anakuambia atakupa pesa ule mchao yeye mwenyewe hana pesa ni kawera ni kawera unaona anakuambia mtajua kupatia pesa alale kwanza na wewe unaona unaingizwa ndani ya dhambi ngapi zile kulimoya ile uoga unatuma mtu anapoteza uzima wa Yesu Kristo ndani yake. Ah Bwana turumie sana. Ukisha kuwa mwoga wa maisha, unapoteza maisha ya maombi, unapoteza roho wa Mungu ndani yako, unapoteza Yesu, unapoteza uzima ambao ujaahidiwa na Mungu ya kwamba utaishi milele, jehenami na kuchunga sababu ya uoga. Uoga ni adui ya, ya, ya roho, ni adui ya maendeleo, uoga ni adui ya mshimamo wa kiroho. Bwana atusamehe sana na tusaidie. Yeah, the, the only one that can deliver us is, uh, as David said in Psalm 34, he said, I sought the Lord, and he had me and delivered me from all my fears. Just as David had a lot of fears in his life, he found that the only solution for him to overcome his fears was God. Hallelujah. Sickness, the fears of failure, the fears of unbreakthrough, the fears of broken struggle, but he saw that, okay, the only solution is for me to live out of this is to, to trust in God, to search the Lord, the face of God. And that's why for you to live is only to trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. And if you fear, full of fear, then you consult the witchcraft, you consult this, you do that. This cannot be able to solve your problem and you bring more sins to yourself. But if you have fear, it's only to seek the face of God and then God will be able to deliver you from the spirit of fear. Pe, Pastor, nilienda ndani ya changwali mukampu moya Uganda. Nekutana kanisa, mukanisa moja. Lile kanisa, watu wanogopana. Watu walikuwa wanogopana kwa mba, oh, ule ni mchawi napa sema nasema ni mchawi bibi yake ni mchawi bakristo wote wanaogopana yani kanisa watu walikuwa hawaingi yake ndani tena wanaogopa ni uchawi eti watanipa sumu watanipa sumu watanipa sumu tukaingia mule nikaona watu kanisa ni mauti haiko tena kanisa tukaomba Mungu tukaombea Mungu tukaomba Mungu tukatia watu ndani ya jeni na prayer watu wakaanza kukuya tuleta mafundisho ya, ya Yesu Kristo ya pendo la Yesu Kristo na uoga wa Mungu na nguvu za Mungu watu walianza kukuja ile kanisa tuliacha pale changwali liko hai na labwana nibarikiwe. Mana woga una, unaharibu hata huduma. Woga unatuma mutu hafike mahali ambapo mungu alisema hafike. Woga ni adui ya maendeleo. Chena labwana nibarikiwe. First I was giving an example of one of the camps that they were in in Changwani, in Uganda. Mm. Church uh, was 
full of people with fear. Everyone was fearing one another. They, they ran away all of, all, of, all of them from each other. The church, yes. the, the church remained dimmed. Yes, that they were going to be witched, I'm going to be poisoned, I'm going to be this, until when they came in and then they brought a teaching of love and not to fear the enemy. And that's when the church stood and, and, and you know, Pastor, God sent me from Kampala especially to go to help that church in Uganda, and in in in, in Changwari. And God and God did mightily into that church. Arriving there, a church which had a lot of people, full of people, but all scattered, fearing fearing each other, fearing of giving poison, in poisoning each other. Now, what is the love of Christ? Fear is a is a is a. Fear is a what? Is a trap. Is a is a red sea to progress. Fear is a red sea to to to, to unity. Fear is a red sea. Fear is a is a total distraction, distraction in home, in ministry. You can't reach where God wants you to reach with fear. You can't. This is why many of you they are praying, but they are not being healed because of fear. You are you first you have doubt of your faith. Number two, you are fearing that that diseases. Those diseases, when you fear, when you doubt, already the life of Jesus, that new life that Jesus promised us, that we have, we are carrying, we were was, we was supposed to carry, goes away. And you, you, remain, you remain, you know, there's those fear. Now, you hear here saying here that fear does not, that is, uh, fear is not the substance of faith. There is faith and there is fear. But the, when the devil comes to destroy your faith, he, re, he reputs your faith into fear. What you are fearing becomes your God. And that's why the, your, the life of Jesus will not remain in you. Now, you, 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 where you are lead, the devil is leading you now is into hell. Same, 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 say together with me, I shall not, that shall not be my portion. That shall not be my portion. Amen, eh? Amen. Number, number three. Shetani anakuja kwako kukuuwa sababu wa kuwe, Ana kuweka kutokuwa na usalama. Yani, hii ndio ishara mbayo pia naweka ndani yako. Jujue kwa mbo mekufa, unajisikia mtu mwenye unakosa usalama. Yeah, you lack peace. You feel unsecure. For you to feel insecure. Amen, eh? Hauna amani. Hata ndani ya nyumba yako hauna amani. Unajuliza kisiki na puaka na amani au sina amani. Amani ya kweli ni uzima mpya katika Yesu Kristo Sema amene. Yeah, even in your own home, you feel you don't have peace. You, know, you are not secure. But the only secure of peace or life is Christ. When you, when you doubt your partner and you fear him, when you doubt your colleagues or you fear them, and you become insecure. This is the third key. Amen. Eh? And when, when you, you become insecure, now nothing remains. What is remaining for you is to be thrown away, to be fired. <laughs> this is what is remaining. This is the plan of the devil that you may not reach to your destiny. In your Shabbat ya Shetani, Kwamba, Usifike Pale Kwenye Mungu Anataka Uo Fik, Jo Kwamana, Anakuonesha Kwamba, Mui Nyumba Kwenye Uko, Hauna Security. Hapa kupendi. Yani unajikuta, una kuwa, ah uh ah, -uh, esiku umanome ni wangu, eh umanomuke ni wangu, umanome haiko wangu. Unabakia uko insecured. Uko ndani ya mashaka, uko ndani ya woga, alafu unakuwa insecurize. Yani unakuwa naona wanabu kama threat. Kama vile adui ndani ya nyumba yako. Au ndani ya, ndani, au, au mke wako ndani ya nyumba yako unakuta adui. Au watoto munakuwa bu adui. Shetani hapendi mufiki. Anajua kwenye mko munaenda. Ah, acha ni wambia wapendwa. Musishimame ndani ya woga. Musishimame ndani ya mashaka. Alafu mubaki katika pendo la mungu. Wakati munaona pendo la mungu. Mungu kwa maana alitupenda na udhaifu wetu. Haka jitoa, haka toa mwana wakia wapeke. Ili, sisi tupate uzima. Ile uzima tunapata wakati tunamutafuta. Daudi alisema pale kwenye tulisoma kwamba. Tunapate le uzima wakati tunatafuta mungu. Ile kukusha enu pamoja na kuomba na kutafuta uso wa mungu. Zaidi kutubu zambi zenu mbele ya mungu. Kila mtu na mwenzake. Inaleta tena uzima ndani. Uzima wa mungu ndani enu. Na wakati uzima wa mungu na ingia ndani enu. Iyo njoo usalama wa buwana. Jina la wana liwarikiwe. Hallelujah. I love that. I love that. Mm. 
Christ is celebrating on the same point of uh, feeding an insecure in your home, whether your wife, you fear your husband, or the, you have that fear of your husband, and all your, your husband has fear with the wife.